Hello, this is Mark Ovoke from www.houseinvestigations.com. Two home buyers were in the process of buying a 20 year old home. Their home inspector indicated that all the basement copper plumbing, gas piping, metal ductwork, and structural metal fasteners were all rusting and corroding. They were not sure if it was radon gas, a prior metamethanine laboratory, a prior moonshine distillery, corrosive air, corrosive water, or other that may be causing this anomaly, so they hired a residential forensic investigator. The inspector immediately suspected that this appeared to be some type of moisture problem. He suspected this when he saw the poorly installed southwest facing moisture absorbent cultured stone cladding. He knew that most early culture stone installations in residential homes may not have the rain screen installation. A rain screen would have included a gap behind this man-made material to allow water to drain down and would have included a sealed membrane behind the cultured stone that would not let water enter into the wall cavity. He also noticed that the home had two large entrance column structures that commonly have hidden unknown foundation conditions. He knows that this type of entrance column design may have hidden foundation moisture problems. Furthermore, he smelled musty odors when entering the home at the front door that was located between these two entrance columns. The residential investigator went down to the basement and removed some of the insulation that was hiding these two column foundation cavities. He stuck his camera into these hidden cavities and took photos. The photos showed that these areas were moist, cold, and condensation was occurring, permitting musty odors, mold, and deterioration to joists and timbers. He knew condensation was occurring because the temperature in these two hidden cavities were much colder than the other basement areas. He placed several humidity data loggers in these two hidden column foundation locations and he placed data loggers at other locations in the home for comparison. He wanted to see if moist air was coming from these two hidden column foundation cavities. He turned on the HVAC fan and inspected the basement cold air return ductwork. He found out that the basement cold air return ducts were not 100% sealed and were sucking air from the basement. He found out that the basement was under negative pressure and moist air came out of these two hidden column foundation cavities. Furthermore, his humidity probes results proved that these two hidden column areas had higher humidity and that more grains of moisture existed in the hidden column cavity air than in the air in the basement. He found out that even with the HVAC system being off, the hidden column foundations with high humidity had higher vapor pressure and that the large basement had lower vapor pressure and that this high vapor pressure would travel to the lower vapor pressure that existed in the basement. He concluded that the hidden front column foundation cavities were significant moisture generators and that these grains of moisture traveled into the basement through negative pressure caused by the HVAC cold air returns that were not 100% sealed. Additionally, moist air is lighter than dry air and moist air will rise up. This is why it rains. These grains of moisture rose up into the ceiling joist pockets. The humidity was higher in the ceiling joist than on the basement floor. This condition along with summer air conditioning, cold air supply duct work that was also located in the upper basement joist cavities made the air in the upper cavities colder and dew point condensation occurred on all metal causing corrosion, rust, and stains. He told the clients that they needed to dry out the hidden cavities or waterproof these hidden foundation areas. He told the clients to run a basement dehumidifier to lower the basement humidity. He also told the clients to seal the basement cold air returns and minimize the cold air return duct leakage and open several supply registers to help slightly pressurize the basement. Finally, he told the clients that the extra culture stone cladding that existed on the front of the house may need to be removed and properly installed with a proper rain screen installation at some future date. Thank you. This has been Short Stories by Marco Voke at www.houseinvestigations.com. 
You can email Marco at clevelandmold at AOL.com. You can also reach Marco on Facebook and on his YouTube channel under the name Cleveland Marco.